Apa kabar semua? Dalam video hari ini, saya akan bercakap 10 genius things about Malaysia. John, let's get straight into it. Dan tolong tekan subscribe button. Terima kasih. Number one, Manglish. Why have one language when you can have two? Manglish meaning Malay and English. This is a common practice, a common spoken language here in Malaysia. Saya boli bercaka bahasa Melayu, then suddenly go into English, Manglish, bam! Manglish is so exciting to listen to because sometimes it's difficult for me to fully understand Bahasa Malayu when it's like a full sentence, full sentence, full sentence, word after word. But when I can hear a little bit of English in between, I can really understand the context much better. I think Manglish is so exciting. Maybe it's because I speak English and then I'm learning Bahasa Malayu so I can squish them together. But it's super, super exciting and it's so awesome. Two languages for one here in Malaysia. Number two, food courts. Food courts is not something we have in the UK at all, really. I used to never really like going to shopping malls back in the UK because we don't have food courts. Shopping malls are really boring. The restaurants are either way too expensive or not even exciting. Maybe it's a McDonald's that you can get everywhere. Tapi di Malaysia, food courts are the most exciting thing and it's perfect for families, friends. If you don't want to eat all the same food, you can sit down in the food court and each person goes to a different restaurant to order the food they want. The food is usually extremely delicious, a lot cheaper than restaurants, and you can just mix and mingle. You can get a drink from here, little ice from here. You can order some Indian food. You can order some Thai food. You can order whatever you want in the food courts. It's such a great idea, especially for people and families and friends who don't even like all the same food anyway. Such a fantastic idea. So yeah, Maho have these back in the UK. Great idea. Number three, 7-Eleven. Again, we don't have 7-Eleven in the UK. And the brilliant thing about 7-Eleven, not only do they have amazing a range of snacks, they have all the snacks and food you could ever want. They are open 24 Seven. That means even at midnight, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whenever you're hungry, you can go to 7-Eleven and get all the snacks and food that you desire. What a fantastic idea. This is not the case back in the UK. If you want food after 10 p.m., some snacks, top up your SIM card, anything, you just can't. All the shops are going to be closed in your local area. Only the big supermarkets might still be open, but not all night long. They will also close. 7-Eleven, you are our lifesaver, D Malaysia. Number four, another genius thing about Malaysia is eating with your hands. Yep, that's right. You do not need a knife and fork here in Malaysia. You just need five fingers on your palm. You need your hands, people. I think it's a great idea. You don't have to wash cutlery, forks, knives. You can just wash your hands. But guys, I do eat with my left hand and that hasn't changed since last time. I know you guys keep saying, Alana, you can't eat with your left hand. But I am, sorry. <laughs> I don't do any bad business with my left hand, guys, okay? Trust me. However, eating with your hand is so delicious. You can mix up all the rice and food and roti, anything you want, and just eat it with your hand. It's a great idea. The food tastes even more delicious than normal. Imagine, even more delicious. Genius idea. Number five, another genius idea about Malaysia, touch and go. Touch and go is such a brilliant idea. You can get on the buses, monorail, LRT, MRT, you name it in the cities, your touch and go will take you there. You just have to top up your touch and go and then you just smack it down on the bus and away you go. You don't have to worry about money, exchanging money, getting change. You just top up your touch and go and literally you touch and go. It's a great idea. I love touch and go. It makes things way easier, way simpler. You don't have to wait in queues. You literally just tap and you're on the bus. The buses are very efficient, the MRT, LRT, monorail, they're all very efficient and I have to say part of that is due to the touch and go. So if you're coming to Malaysia for more than even a month, more than even two weeks, I would highly consider going to get your own touch and go. Number six, and that would be night markets. I love 
night markets, saya sangat suka pergi ke Pasar Milan. We do not have this back in the UK because the weather is so cold that if you went out in the evening, you would freeze to death. You would not enjoy the Pasar Milan experience. But de Malaysia, Pasar Milan is so popular. I recently went to Pasar Milan and bought so much Makanan Malaysia. Banyak Makanan Malaysia. I ate so much food there. There was so much variety. And food markets, that's the best thing about them. Night markets, food markets, just so many options you can walk up and down and there's canopies if it rains you can buy all of the food you want and get it together sit down and eat all the food it is such an exciting experience saya sangat teruja pergi ke pasar malam lagi nanti lah number seven another genius thing about malaysia is the mix of races here in malaysia you have your malay chinese indian everyone else living here together in malaysia and it is a genius idea and that is because you guys can all learn from each other learn each other's cultures religions food you guys get to mix and mingle and try each other's food it is so so exciting i have never been in such a multicultural place in all of my life and i now can't imagine living anywhere else but here in malaysia saya sayang malaysia semua you guys know that and honestly one of the reasons has to be this mix and mingling of the cultures and on top of everything i already mentioned about the diverse culture it really makes the people way more easy to mingle respectful of one another Another. It really makes people way more considerate. You really consider each other. Oh, can my friend eat this? Or can they do this? Okay, let's do this instead. It really makes for very humble, respectful people to be mixing one country with so many people. I love it, I love it. Number eight, another genius idea is of course, drinks bunkus. Now I'm saying that the correct way this time. You guys gave me hundreds of comments last time saying, Alana, did that bunkas, bunkus. Ini. <laughs> Sorry for the mispronunciation last time. Bunkus. Drinks bunkus is a fantastic idea. It's super quick and efficient. If you don't know what it is, basically it's a drink of your choice. You know, ice, te tari. And what they do is they put it in a plastic bag and they put this wrapper around the top and they put a straw inside and you just carry it like a little baby just down the street. Fantastic idea, but careful not to swing it around. You don't want to hit anyone with a hot te tari or spill your Milo ice over the MRT. Great idea. And I love to take drinks bunkus. Number nine, another genius idea here in Malaysia is of course grab for groceries. Of course, we've all heard of grab for food, but grab for groceries is a life changer. It's really funny because where I'm living now, Jaya is not that far. However, Jaya is expensive. Walking to Jaya and walking back and coming all the way up the apartment takes like 30 minutes. It's so easy to order from Lotus shout out Lotus, my favorite supermarket di Malaysia. Saya sangat suka pergi membeli bela di Lotus di Kuala Lumpur. Banyak options la. I love Lotus. Lotus used to be Tesco. It's the best supermarket. It's the cheapest as well. Not the cheapest, but one of the cheapest. I really love it. But it's a great idea to get your groceries delivered straight to your apartment and then you just have to take them up the lift. It's a life changer. I love it so, so much. Number 10, another genius idea is having coconuts in this city. This got me guys. Malaysia is of course an island so getting a coconut anywhere is not a difficult task. It is so crazy. You can buy coconuts anywhere in the city here in Kuala Lumpur and Banyak state around Malaysia but it really gets me. I think it's such a crazy idea to be drinking, sipping a cold coconut here in Kuala Lumpur. A genius idea. A cold coconut is so much more refreshing than cold water. Saya sangat suka menam air kelapa. Kelapa? Huh? Kelapa? <laughs> Another genius idea. Terima kasih for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.